Hey folks, welcome to episode 6 of Behind the Play, a series where I take a look at all things related to CSGO tactics and strategy, and in this episode we're going to be looking at something that's very closely tied to the previous episode, episode 5. It's going to be yet another innovation from Threat with some very similar concepts, but just for the opposite side of the map. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first time I came across this smoke and the potential for it was actually at the Star Ladder I League Season 2 Finals where NIP actually won the whole tournament and along the way they beat Cloud9 and Cobblestone in the semifinals. And when I saw it, it was a similar throwing location to the three smokes on the B-bomb site, but instead it's just Forrest here throwing one smoke, which is going to go over to Connector. And then for this option, since they're doing an A-Execute, you actually see him follow it up with a couple of flashes. As you can see, it just flies over all of these buildings and bounces a few times and makes its way to the connector doorway. Now this, on the surface, looks like a very common smoke for an A execute, which is usually thrown from long A. But because it's thrown in the way that it is, it opens up so many options, which we'll talk about in just a second, as this one is just an example of how it was used for an A execute. After speaking with Threat directly, the philosophy behind this smoke is entirely tied to what we talked about in episode 5 with the three smokes onto the B-bomb site, where three players would throw smokes from this location over this way, which would create a wall of smokes on B, which can then either set you up for a B execute or a fake and actually a hit on the A-bomb site. It all comes down to this throwing location and how it sets you up to be very near both sides of the map simultaneously. So really the whole gist of this is to take that same concept but just use it to put a smoke over towards the connector. Essentially with this smoke in place and where it's thrown from, you can then use it to attack the A-bomb site or in fact use it as a fake to actually swing over to the B-bomb site which we'll see examples of both in just a moment. But it just goes to show how powerful one smoke can be and how if you craft it correctly and where it's thrown from and the timing of it, how you can use it as a setup to do multiple things and make it very difficult for your opponent to read what your intentions are. Hellraisers was one of the first teams I saw take on to this smoke, as you can see Dead Fox throwing the exact same one. In this example, Hellraisers is actually using it to sell a fake on the A bomb site. They even put Angel up the mid slope as well to create added pressure onto A and to try to cut off Snacks and Taz from rotating, as well as using that smoke as something that makes Virtus Pro maybe even second guess pushing in connector. So you can see how this smoke actually sets you up for an A hit, a fake into a B execute, or even perhaps assist you in taking control of connector through the drop down room as well because A players coming from this direction with the smoke in their face may not be able to assist their teammates on B and trying to establish some type of crossfire as a drop down room play comes into focus. Here we can see Zeus putting this same smoke to use during his time as an in-game leader for Immortals and likely something he may put into Liquid's playbook as their coach, so certainly be on the lookout for in the future. This was actually at the EPL Season 4 final, so while we saw the NIP play in September and then Hellraisers did it at Epicenter only a month later, now shortly after that you're seeing Immortals basically pick up on it and again they're using it for an A execute in this particular example. But you can certainly see how this smoke has been catching on over time. Even in very recent times, in January at the E-League Major, you saw North pull this out with Cajun B lining up the smoke and the rest of his team again using it as part of an A execute in this particular round. When you really take a look at this smoke carefully, you can certainly see the potential impact it can have on the game. Much like the three smokes from mid to B that Threat innovated, you see yet another innovation from the same brilliant mind that is also quite diverse in the possibilities that it has. Its usefulness is evident by the fact that it has spread to so many teams in a short amount of time and it seems poised to be something that we're going to see used in the future. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Behind the Play. If you did, please be sure to check out past episodes and be on the lookout for future ones which will be coming soon. Also, if you enjoyed this content, maybe you'll enjoy some of the other stuff I do in this channel, so please do follow and subscribe and keep up with me for more content. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time.